And then I learned in um, beauty school that it kind of like fold, like the hair like goes like that. I don't really know how to describe it. Hello everyone, warm welcome to Adore Beauty's YouTube channel. My name is Chloe and I'm from the warehouse team here at Adore Beauty. Today I'll be going through my tips, tricks and the products that I use on how I maintain my vibrant and healthy hair. Healthy, I use the term healthy very loosely. My hair is like, I say like kind of healthy. Healthy for what it has been through. My hair has been through more phases than me. I have bleached my hair hair for nine years. I went through tiger stripes. I went through that weird dip dye chunk of black and then bleach, orange, orange bleach. I also was blonde for two years and that was no good for my hair. Every three months I would go to the hair salon sit in three to six hours of bleach. Just repeat that every three months. My hair was not cute. Well, it was cute color wise, but it wasn't cute like I had a mullet, like a little bleach mullet. So I'm here to share my tips on how I try to avoid my breakage and how I try and keep my hair red as hell. So the first tip that I have, when you walk out of that salon for the first 72 hours, do not wash your hair. You need that color to really penetrate into your hair and you need the cuticle layer to like close up. It will really help with the color fading. Your color will not fade as fast. My second tip is to not wash your hair that often. I wash my hair about two to three times a week. Three is kind of pushing it. I'm really lazy. When you wash your hair too often, the natural oils will strip away. When I get out of the shower, I don't do like this action to my hair with a towel, do you know what I mean? I get an old t-shirt and I just kind of bring my hair out. This just avoids breakage. When your hair is wet, don't brush it, don't pull at it. Your hair is at its most vulnerable state when it is wet. My third tip is to avoid heat styling in general. Avoid your straighteners, avoid your curlers. I mean, if you're going somewhere, you're gonna have to, you know. I notice that if I straighten my hair all the time, when my hair is red, the color will just it will just strip away faster. When I blow dry my hair out of the shower, I blow dry it about 60%. And when I do, I use a medium to low heat setting. I don't know how to explain it, but I get my hairbrush and then I go like this. And then I learned in um, beauty school that it kind of like fall like the hair like goes like that. This is the best way that I can that I can describe it. So moving on to my products. Like I said, I'm very lazy with washing my hair. So keeping a dry shampoo handy, this little one from Eleven is super handy. I keep it in my bag when I'm feeling nasty, when I feel myself getting too oily. I'll pop it out and I'll give it a quick spray. Let me demonstrate. I'll give it a quick spray. And then be sure to like massage that into your scalp. I'm a hot mess now. And this just absorbs your excess oils. So the first mask that I use is the Fenola After Color Care Mask. I use this about once a week and I leave it on for half an hour to an hour. It says to only leave it on for five minutes, but like I said, I get really lazy. This is its consistency. I leave it on for about half an hour to an hour. I'll go do my chores. Maybe you like watch a TV show or something. I'll wash it off after in the shower. This mask contains beta carotene, sorry if I said that wrong, which converts into a vitamin A that is essential for cell growth. It also has linseed oil, which promotes healthy hair growth as well as having anti-inflammatory properties to assist with issues like psoriasis and eczema. When I wash that out, I use the Fenola NutriCare Shampoo. Yeah, it's kind of pink stained here, sorry. I use this to wash, rinse and condition my hair. These smell like the Taha glass candle. They smell so, 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 so good. So the Fenola NutriCare Shampoo and Conditioner have hella amino acids and amino acids are essential for healthy hair. These also have linseed oils, which I mentioned before has amazing properties. These are only $31.92 on adorebeauty.com.au, so they are well worth their price. I reckon they're pretty cheap for a shampoo and conditioner. You're getting both of them for that price and they last forever. My next little treatment thing, I've been using this ever since I was blonde for two years. I'm actually so in love with it. It is the Olaplex number three. 
So this is not a conditioner, it is a bond builder. And its active ingredient is bisamino propyl diglycol dimelliate. And what it does is it essentially seeks out the broken disulfide bonds in your hair and it sticks it out and it tries to rebond it. It helps with breakage, it really does. I use this, this is what it looks like. Before I hop into the shower, I'll wet my hair a little bit, make it damp, and then I'll chuck like a 20 cent size of the Olaplex onto my damp hair. I'll leave it on for 10 minutes. I do this two to three times a week and then I'll just wash it off in the shower. And I found that ever since bleaching my hair to go red again, it really has helped with the breakage that I see after the shower. So you guys, if you are not on Olaplex, you need to get on it. I also have this, the Kerastase mask. I purchased this after watching Millie's video on our YouTube channel. You guys need to go check that out. This smells like it does, it does something to your hair, you know, it smells like it smells like a hard worker. So let's move on to the products that I use daily. We're starting off with the JS Health Hair and Energy Vitamins. These have helped my hair grow out so much longer. I'm not lying. It takes about three to four weeks to kick in though. So please be patient with it. It is well worth the wait. So these contain zinc which help maintain healthy hair, skin and nails. And it also provides nutritional support for sperm. So get on it. It also has iodine to help regulate your basal, 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 is it basal is like a herb, isn't it? Which helps your metabolism. It gives you that extra boost of energy. This next product is honestly the love of my life. I use the Moroccan oil treatment every day. I'm nearly out. No, look. So all you need is a pump and I kind of run it through my, the ends of my hair and it helps give me that shine to kind of cover up the dead hairs from bleaching. I always get asked at work, I'm like, oh, how's your hair look so shiny and how does it look so healthy even though it's bright red and hella bleach, hella process. And I'm like, guys, get on the Moroccan oil treatment. Like, it honestly helps a lot and it smells like it does something. You Do you know that smell? It just smells like it works. Well, that was all for my products and my tips and tricks. I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to leave a comment down below for me if you have more recommendations for maintaining healthy hair. Don't forget to subscribe and like, and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you for tuning in.